Welcome to the Pretty Life Girls channel. We're so glad you're here. Today we are making embroidered floral baseball hats. I'm Liz, I'm one of the Pretty Life Girls. We're so excited to make with you today. These hats are so cute, and if you've never embroidered before, this is a perfect way to get started. This is a beginner project, it's so cute, it's 90s inspired. We're gonna make a hat with a daisy. It's a great way to upcycle a baseball hat, and we're so excited to make it with you. Before we get started, be sure that you're subscribed to the Pretty Life Girls channel, and leave us a comment if there's a project or tutorial you'd like us to make with you. We would love to do that. Let's get making. So for this tutorial, you will need a plain baseball cap. These are just from Walmart. They're $4.99, super inexpensive. And then I just use a crayon to mark where I'm gonna stitch. You can use a pencil. If your hat is light enough for that to show up, you could use an embroidery marker or a washable marker, just something that won't last on your hat. We are gonna use some scissors and a needle, a mini embroidery hoop. You can just find these at any craft store and then your embroidery floss. We are gonna do a daisy on this hat. And so what we'll do, I already marked kind of where I want it to go. So you'll see there's some little yellow dots there. But all I'm gonna do is just take my crayon that I'm using or whatever you're gonna use to mark it. And I'm not using a pattern or anything for this. I'm just gonna freehand it. If you wanna use a pattern, go for it. So I'm just gonna start and just lightly draw a daisy. And draw my petals. not an artist <laughs> at all but having an outline really helps when you're stitching and the best disclaimer I can give you for this tutorial is we are not expert embroiderers we're beginners and we like using just basic stitches and simple um, designs so if that's what you like, you are at the right place. So you can faintly see there is my daisy that I'm gonna stitch. And I'm gonna start <clears throat> by stitching the middle. Then you're gonna take apart your embroidery hoop and this one without the screw will go inside the hat and then the one with the screw will go on the outside of the hat. And this really helps to stabilize your fabric it's tricky putting it on a hat that's not a flat fabric. Might take you a couple of times to get it right. Okay, so you're gonna push, and then I like to kind of tug around a little bit to make sure it's super flush. Then you can tighten your screw. Okay, once that feels nice and secure, you're gonna take your needle and we're gonna start with the interior part of the flower. So I'm gonna use my yellow floss first. And for this project, we're using all of your strands of your floss, so you don't need to um, pull any apart. And I'm going to thread my needle off camera because I cannot ever get it done <laughs> when I'm trying to do it on camera. Got it done. So we're just gonna start and we're gonna do what I would say is probably described as a velvet stitch, although like I said, we're just beginners, so and we do this very simplistically, so um, don't hold us to that if it's not a perfect velvet stitch. But what that means is that your stitches are gonna just be very, very close together. I'm gonna start on one end of the interior of my flower. I wanna get right up against the edge where I drew it. I'm gonna start with a small stitch and work bigger to make my circle. And then with a velvet stitch, you're gonna go right up against it, the stitch you just made, and that is probably the trickiest part about that stitch because you wanna get right up against it, not have any gaps, but also stay in the lines of your design. So 
right up against it and then have it growing into a circle. You can see that it's not a perfect circle, which is totally fine. There's gonna be a couple of additions that we're gonna to make to the flower that will totally round that out. If you want it to be a perfect circle, you can always snip what you started and try again, but don't stress about it at all. If your embroidered floss starts to twist and you get uneven lines, you can just run your needle through them to kind of straighten them back out. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go around this part that we just stitched, the center of our flower, and we're gonna add some long stitches and short stitches all around, which will help add dimension when you add your petals. I'll show you an example. So here is my first hat I made that is a sunflower. And you can see that there's these brown stitches around the edges here. And it really helps to blend with the petals and give it lots of dimension. So that's the part we're gonna do next. So it's very simple. You'll just work your way around your flower. It'll vary how thick you want the lines. You can do short ones, you can do longer ones. But it's just gonna be going out and then coming in at the center of the flower that you made. Okay feel pretty good about this. I think I'm gonna do one little space over here but I feel like the gap is bigger than I'd like. Okay, then I'm just going to cut my floss and tie it off on the back. And then I'm gonna thread my white string. But here's what your middle will look like. I'm gonna smooth this a little bit. It looks cute. It's gonna be a very cute daisy. Okay, so I got my thread. Uh, my needle threaded with my yellow floss. You can see that just as I've been working, it's kind of rubbed off some of my design. So I'm gonna go back in and just add in my petals. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is, similar to, we're gonna do a velvet stitch as well, but I like with flower petals to do one side and then the other side. So I'm gonna start at the tip in the middle of one of my flower petals. And then I'm gonna take it all the way to my center of my flower. You're just gonna tie it off in the back and snip your edges and then remove your embroidery hoop. this was so much fun if you make a hat be sure to share it with us on social media we would love to see it you can find us everywhere at pretty life girls and on our blog prettylifegirls.com and we are so excited to see you next week bye